Hi guys, it's me, it's your boy bro, and I am your bro man. Today, we have a 2020 Honda Odyssey Touring. Yes, it's a minivan. Is the minivan a better family hauler or a three-row SUV? Reason number one, cargo space. This has tons of cargo space. With all the rows removed, this has about 150 cubic feet of space. Put that in perspective, your average check-in baggage is about four and a half cubic feet. You can fit 33 of those bags in here. That's a lot of space. Reason number two, interior room. This is a family hauler or a passenger hauler. This has tons of space for your passengers. Sitting in the second row, man, this is comfortable. Lots of headroom and there's lots of legroom. So sitting in the third row, man, there's so much headroom here. And speaking of the legroom on in the third row of seats, look, I am comfortable. I am about 5'10 and I still have like a couple of inches of space between the seat and my knees. And there is a ton of space on both sides. You could easily fit two adults here comfortably. <laughs> and this is not one of those seats where you just wanna go for a shot ride. You would be really comfortable here for a long ride as well. Reason number three, the practical design. You don't have to worry about your kids or your passengers dinging your doors on other cars in parking spaces. Why? Because the door slides open. The other cool design feature is this low height. It makes entering and exiting the car so easy. The other benefit is that since the seats are at a much lower height, let's say you have a lot of stuff in your hand, groceries or whatever, or you could have a child in a car seat. You don't have to pick him up and put him up all the way there. It's like right here, so it's really easy. It's like very accessible. You can change the configuration of the second row seats. You can take out the middle seat. Seats on both sides have armrests so they could be captain's chairs or if you want you can remove the one in the middle and move these closer towards each other so if you want to have a, a clear path for passengers to get in the back these seats all sit on rails at the bottom so you can move them around side to side change their configuration reason number four all of the funky features the doors have a nice finish to them you have memory seating here and you have your regular controls but there are little storage spaces all along the door you have armrests in the front seats so you can sit in comfort so once you're in the front seat you have this awesome instrument cluster that looks like a spaceship to the left you have buttons to open and close the sliding doors on both ends oh you have a button to open the trunk these are sensors your parking sensors and lane departure warning sensors you can turn those off you even have forward collision warning, so you can turn that off as well if you wanted to, and you can turn off your traction control. On the steering wheel, you have buttons to go through your menu options. The center console is quite different from what you would get in any other car. These buttons are your gear selectors. You have park, then you press a button to go into reverse, neutral, drive and sport. These are your seat heaters. That's your start stop button and your hazards on the other side. Oh, and you can also turn off the automatic start stop feature so this would the engine shuts off if you're at the stoplight or whatever to give you better fuel economy if you want to turn that off you can from here and then you have the fun snow modes and when you toggle through the snow mode options see what the dash does so that's your normal mode and if you select snow you see a little graphic of the car driving through snow and behind the steering wheel you have paddle shifters paddle shifters 
in a minivan. Then you have your infotainment screen. This is all touch screen and you can toggle through your options. This has the normal options of navigation, phone, Bluetooth audio, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Trip computer, messages, Sirius XM, all the good stuff. And here's, here are the fun features. There's an AT&T hotspot. So if you use that, you can stream movies or whatever on your mobile device. To the left is the cabin watch. When you press this, there's a camera in the back which gives you a view of the back seat so you don't have to turn around and look you can just see what your rear passengers or kids what are they up to and then you have the cabin talk once this is on this will you can speak into their headphones without having to yell out the odyssey since it's in a touring trim this also comes with a sunroof and there's a nice hidden storage space here there are a couple of spots here couple of pockets here where you can put your stuff close it and don't have to worry about someone finding it and this is where you insert your blu-ray dvd whatever whatever cd or entertainment you want to use you can put your cell phone in there you have your cup holders and a big deep center console in the second row seat there's a little sunshade you can use this if you don't want sun or if you want some privacy you have a lock button this opens the door you also have a button to press to open and close you have your ac vent two cup holders hdmi input and two charging points and you also get a screen for your second row passengers you can play a movie or you could stream whatever you so choose you have map lights or reading lights up here one on each side and on the right side is where you have your climate controls for the back seats the seat the seat in the middle also folds down like you have cup holders and a little storage space so in the back you have three cup holders here two in the front and one on each door so that's seven cup holders for the second row passengers that's the view from the second row it's pretty neat back in the third row you get sunshade here as well you have two cup holders on each side a little storage bin here and you have a headphone jack with volume controls you get your own personal ac vent and on top you have your reading light the, so the passengers in the third row of seats get four cup holders the passengers in the second row of seating get seven cup holders and the passengers up front have another four The cool features in the trunk, it has its own vacuum cleaner. It has its own vacuum. It has a couple of attachments. So you can easily clean up any spills in the, in the car. This is where you would clean it. This is your fuse. This hides your fuse box. On the right side of the trunk, you have a little space here where you can store something and if you look under inside there's a little there's a little thing hidden here what is it well pull it out this is a funnel so if you run out of gas somewhere and you don't you just have a bottle or whatever and you don't have a funnel to put it in that's what you're gonna use this for it even has a little picture here saying what it's to be used for and right on top of that space you have a 12 volt power outlet so the odyssey has honda's 3.5 liter v6 it puts out about 280 horses and about 260 pound feet of torque it can tow up to 3500 pounds and it has a 10 speed automatic transmission well now that we've looked around the car let's take it out on the road and see how it drives it is so quiet in here it is so quiet this is reason number five the driving experience of of a minivan and even when going over bumps over the road this seems to absorb most of it we're at a red light so we're gonna test out the sport mode to do that just press the ds button and you're in sport mode i'm gonna try out the paddle shifters as well let's go quick that was quick this is not a car where you'll have a lot of fun 
by driving it fast this is a car that you're just hauling folks and hauling your kids or hauling your family from one place to the other visibility out of this is amazing if you turn around to check your blind spots those windows are huge it has so much cargo space in it you could almost use it as a pickup truck almost it does not have the payload capacity or the towing capacity of a pickup truck but it has tons of space if you want something that's got tons of cargo space tons of passenger space which is quiet and is decent to drive i think the minivan might be one uh, the thing for you now the one drawback of a minivan is the image right so minivans are usually thought of as a soccer mom car or a mom car or whatever they're not what you would consider to be a cool car but if you're the kind of person who does not care much about image if you're a kind of a person who who puts functionality over form i think this might be the car for you now if you want a family hauler that's also fun to drive or fast or makes a nice throaty sound and all of that yeah then the minivan is not for you let's head back to the mini talk about the cost of ownership give it a score and wrap up this video the punk is out running his mouth and he's given our production team the week off somebody's got to do the editing so that was me in a typical year you would drive for 15,000 miles and the odyssey requires that you do a service every 5,000 miles so i looked up the schedules online the first three services for 15,000 miles would be about 280 bucks combined divided by the number of days it's about 78 cents a day so on the looks it's a six and a half out of ten on the prop it's a three out of ten on the maintenance it's a nine and a half out of ten and on the usability it's a nine and a half out of ten for a combined bromance score of 7.1 out of ten so the odyssey is a practical car it's got tons of cargo space, tons of passenger space. It can tow up to 3,500 pounds. The ride is really comfortable. It's quiet and comfortable inside. It's got funky features. The doors slide open and shut and all of that. The drawbacks being it's not a very fast car. It's not super powerful. And it has this image of it not being a cool car associated with it. If you fall in love with the positives, Go check out a minivan, maybe you'll like it. Thanks for watching. Until next week, bro out.